Hello and welcome back everybody to a brand new video. So today we are back with the Daisy Zero to Hero series. Now, today we're going to be doing something big. We're going to be making our way to Cabanino. Now, let's go ahead and switch to our hatchet real quick. Well, currently, as you can see, it's in pitch black darkness. It is difficult to see. So, because it's difficult to see, it makes traversing around the map much more of an arduous task. Now, the last thing that we want is to be randomly discovered by loads of zombies. We don't want to have a glow stick on which alerts people to our location. We want to remain as unseen as possible. Now we are only two miles away from Starry Sober, meaning we're two miles away from half of our objective. Now, obviously we're starting to run a little bit low on food. We've got about half of our calorie consumption left. Now I could by all means go ahead and eat our unknown food can, but it does contain chemicals. The last thing we want is to die. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drink our frontal lemonade to keep our energy consumption up our calorie consumption up and hopefully the second we get to starry sober we can make a little bit more progress now starry sober is only over there you can see starry sober right there that is starry sober now where that is there's actually military tents around there so we're gonna have to be super hyper careful but we might be able to find ourselves a fully automatic weapon if we can do that that changes the way that we can play this game because we have lethal lethal equipment at our disposal like i said we have still need a couple of bits we, we do need a can opener we do need a better bag other than a our little pretty schoolgirl bag um i wouldn't mind being able to find a suppressor there we go because i think you can actually see a military tent right there you can so that's where we need to be so we're gonna have to be hyper careful here because as you are aware or if you're not aware i will make you aware military zombies will come geared they will come with armor plates they will have helmets on so they make it just that much more difficult to kill but then there's also quite a few of them so we're almost at starry sober we've just come from novi sober now we're gonna go ahead and get our trusty hatchet out if we had a couple of bullets we would have been able to put out our m lock and use a silenced pistol to kill zombies which would have been absolutely perfect but we can't we don't have the ammo now all i'm really hoping for here is probably canned bacon so we can obviously eat it as quick as we can and um, but also being able to find a fully automatic weapon whether it be an ak a usg anything of the sort is there anything there my middle mouse scroll is actually a little bit broken so that's why it zooms in and out so i definitely need to get a new mouse all right i can see a zombie there all right let's go ahead and crouch i do want to check up here because they these can actually contain some decent loot for us 45 acp oh Ooh, universal flashlight what does that have we don't need the 45 acp but we'll take the flashlight so we've got the military tents to loot but then we've also got the crates as well um these here right, so you can hear a zombie be hyper 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 careful makes it difficult as well because we have very limited visibility oh combat knife okay this is good oh it's no it's a bayonet actually we'll actually take that because we can get rid of that and then we'll hop We'll hop by the bayonet over the hatchet because the hatchet is damaged. Just double checking just in case there's anything else. Right, where is he? Is he on the, I think he's on the other side of this container. So we do have a grenade. <laughs> oh, there we go. Took two out very quick. What did he have? He had a beret on him. Okay, carry on. We've got to be safe. Got to be careful. Right, there is a zombie around here. I can hear him. Right, he's there. Got another crate over there on my left hand side. Can I assassinate this zombie? That is the question. I mean, it's only in rain you can do that. Another beret. Right, let me still be careful. What's this? Baraka sights. Another M4 bayonet. The you? Smoke grenade. Okay, nothing. Nothing major. Nothing major. But at least it shows that these haven't been looted. Another bayonet. We need those for our SSG. Right, there's a zombie around here. I can hear him. Ah, it's inside the tent, I think. There's a. I swung for him then. Jesus. Anything? Right, so this is the one to... <gasps> M4. Oh my god. We just found an M4. We have just found an M4. Well, no, it's an M16, but, like, we found one. We just need a mag. What can we drop? We have to get rid of a shotgun. We have to get rid of a shotgun. Right. Let's, uh, let's take her boy out. Right, so we just found an M16. We have an M16. We need the magazine now. That is the one thing that is essential and imperative for our survival. Now, we've pretty much looted everything here, I think. Right, there is one zombie there. Two zombies, actually. Right, I'm going to have to go for him. Right, he's dead. 76239s. Leave mini sights. We, we definitely don't need that, but uh, it'd be nice for a pistol. Right. I think that's it now. I think that's that's basically all the loot that we can get. 
There we go. Right, okay. This was successful. This was very, very, very successful. Now, if we really wanted to, because we could, let's go ahead and go to four. If we just... We can load one bullet into the mag. We can put a bullet in the chamber. So, theoretically, we could still kill an enemy, but we would just have to be incredibly, incredibly careful. Right, so still being careful as we have spoken about before. We need to basically find ourselves a road sign so we can truly know where we are there's one right there we need to get ourselves to cabanino which is i think a mile or two forward but while we are here we do also need ourselves a new backpack pico with 380 acp we could take those actually because we do have a pistol still still being careful because obviously we are in the middle of the night right cabanino there we go, two miles. Right, let's, we may as well carry on down this path and just get a straight straight away to Cabanino because we're then on the way to Northwest. Don't want to stick around inside of a area for too long. Shit, shit. Oh, we've got ourselves in a little bit of a pickle. We've waited long enough to get ourselves out of this little pickle. See a little bit more food. Let us go ahead and put our food away. Got a bayonet out. And let's sneak away. Oh, he's still aggroed there as well. You be super careful. I don't want to... We need to get to Cabanino, like, basically ASAP. We're, we're, we're so close to the Northwest Airfield. Like, I want to be at the Northwest Airfield for the next episode. So, let's go. Let's just run. Right, see you later, Starry Sober. You are behind me now. We've made our way to Nova. We've made our way to Starry. We need to make our way to Cabanino. From Cabanino, we go to Northwest. From Northwest to Tissy. From Tissy to Bolotta. It is such a trek but if we can arm ourselves up adequately in northwest airfield taking out at least one player and killing five players by the end of this series happy we need to finish us finish our save finish our game with one thing and one thing in hand and only that's an m4 so we're just up the road obviously the best thing is that i haven't got my light on i haven't got a glow stick on so i'm not alerting anybody to my position to our position that's the north star by the way it's exactly why you can navigate yourself in the game by doing something so simple as by looking at a star. You find the north star, you walk towards in its direction, boom. You, you can manage to get yourself north, northwest airfield. Right, we're not too far from Cabanino. Making our way. Making my way downtown. Here we are in Cabanino. Diddly diddly doo. Cabanino. Right, we are at Cabanino. Now, we're going to need to play this super, 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 super safe. We need to gather some food. We need to gather some water. <gasps> we have ourselves a sewing kit. Now, as I've said before, there's a split in the road. If you carry on walking forward, you will find Cabanino. Oh, sorry, you will find Northwest Airfield. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make our way forward till we find said split. Once we've found said split, we're going to end the episode there because that would then mean that the very next episode we will make our way into Northwest Airfield, which is one of our objectives almost complete. We would just need to kill a player. It is directly in that direction. Right. We have food. Okay. Fair enough. We don't have a load, but we have something. Still trying to be super careful. Doesn't help that it's dark either. Right. Move away out of this building. Not too much further down the road. <gasps> Backpack. There we go. That's better for us. That's a lot better for us. There we go. We'll take the glow stick as well. Right. There is a zombie up nearby. Right. So there's one there, one there. There's three zombies around us. The last thing I need to do is get alerted by these zombies. I think she's seen me. Yeah, she has. Two hits and she's dead. We'll swap a sewing kit out. Here we are. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Northwest Airfield, directly in that direction. If I run from there, that direction, we will find Northwest Airfield. Go, and go ahead and close all the doors. Let's go and make ourselves safe. And let's call the episode in, the in this house. Because as of tomorrow, we've got a huge task. We've got to go get ourselves in for. Got to go hopefully get a kill and survive. So, that being said, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment. All those good things down below. And I'll catch you in the very next episode. As always, my friends. Sweet.